Okay, very good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Giuseppe Conti and I'm here to present to you the results of uh, a European project called uh, uh, iTour uh, that is being funded by the FB7 uh, that delivers smart city services. So this is one of the two examples of projects that we will be seeing in a reminder of this workshop. Uh, the focus of iTour is very clear, is on mobility. Traditionally, smart cities have focused on energy, mobility, or other inclusive or e-health issues. So this is one of the main really issues that traditionally smart city services have tried to respond to. The, 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 from the societal point of view, mobility is a major cause of costs and uh, uh, social costs and economical costs uh, in Europe. Uh, Accidents are causing uh, um, a number of deaths per year. You can see the numbers here. And this is certainly not only a European problem, it's a global problem. If you move to developing countries, for instance, it becomes uh, critical. It goes to really critical levels. Now, what we are trying to do in iTour is to uh, leverage on uh, the extensive amount of information that now we have on, uh, mob on uh, transport infrastructures. Uh, we now know that in the GI domain we also have SDI or specific geographical system that, that are designed for um, transport infrastructure. What we wanted to do in I2, and that was the challenge that we set at the very beginning, was to leverage on these existing structured information sources, but augment it with the unstructured data, and that is information coming from the users, from the community. Now, uh, the transportation, and specifically urban transportation, as in the case of ITUR, uh, is critical because of data collection. If you want to know uh, real-time conditions of, of the entire trans, uh, transport network of a city like London, uh, it's technically unfeasible to do it with, with sensors, if you like. So the most feasible approach today probably is to leverage on crowdsourcing. So what we did in, in iTour was to create a, a hybrid approach where you have standardized, standard geographical information coming from SDI, from OGC services, sitting together or next to other services that provide uh, information based on information coming from, this, from, the, from, from people, from the crowd. And uh, on top of that, we wanted to make it a little bit more challenging, uh, trying to make a personalized approach to routing or routing within the city. Now, we'll see this in a minute. Uh, if we look at the, let's say, existing solutions for urban mobility, uh, you have a number of them in the web. Uh, from Google Transit, that of course is not really interoperable, uh, to other tools that try to trigger a more uh, environmental friendly uh, behavior. Um, the main rationale being that uh, Transportation is a major source of pollution, so let's try to reduce private transportation in favor of public transportation. It's a very simple uh, uh, mechanism. Uh, but we really wanted to go beyond that. So what we, we, what we as I mentioned before, what uh, it has been done, what is being done in I2 right now, the project is about to finish, uh, it's a mechanism that takes information from the crowd, from the users, uh, through the mobile, mobile phones, and infers information on where they are or information that they provide through, um, uh, through the interface and uses this information on the network to create a personalized routing system. What is mean? What's the meaning of this? Imagine that you are traveling on a bus. This, is, this bus is crowded. You can, for instance, report that the bus is crowded or is simply dirty. And this information is sent to the central system, to the central repository, and is used by the routing algorithm to reroute you or other users according to this. It means that uh, the routing algorithm of iTour is not only based on a standard graph, a road graph, but it's most importantly based on uh, information coming from people that is used to tweak the, 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 the graph, if you like. That means that you do not only have the possibility to go through the fastest or, or shortest route, but you can also have very personalized routing approach. For instance, I want to go through the safest or through the less packed route or the cheapest because, for instance, in that moment, there is a combination of different transport mechanisms that gets me from A to B in the cheapest way. So that's the power of, of uh, the, the development that we brought forward. Ad additionally to that, I too started from a very clear assumption that we had to promote use of uh, 
public transportation. And to do that, you have to provide an incentive mechanism. So we thought that a nice way to do this was through a sort of serious gaming twist. The idea is pretty simple. Imagine the frequent flyer program. The more you fly, the more miles you get, the more you can spend them for your pleasure. Now, what we have done is similar to that. The more you use public transportation, the more miles you acquire based on the amount of CO2 that you save by traveling on public transport. It's a very simple equation. And those credits can then be used for free tickets or you can redeem them in exactly the same mechanism as you would do with the uh, frequent flyers. So again, it's a very simple mechanism, but let, it's a tweak that helps people get involved and use the system. And in addition to that, you become aware of your impact or what you can do to, to uh, have a more sustainable behavior in terms of travel choices. And uh, to do this, we l extensively leverage on LBS, location-based services. This is uh, pretty, pretty obvious. Basically, what i does is through a, a mobile uh, device, this can be uh, uh, the, the, the product that we have developed runs on Android, uh, you, the, the user uh, basically shares the position of, 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 them, of, of them through the system and this information is used again to create the, 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 the personalized routing mechanism I was uh, referring before. Now, if we have a look at, at the technology that we are using, as I mentioned, we are leveraging on uh, the, the standardized approach because of course all the basic information on the transportation network comes from an SDI and again we are talking a bit here about multi modal transportation. So it's not a routing system that uses information on the road network, but also on the bus network, underground network, whatever you have within the city. Uh, so we, we have that sort of standardized approach to, to routing. But on top of that, we have also the uh, information coming from the crowd, the social networking, so to say, which is based on, on rating, the concept of rating. And uh, this information is made available to the users on site through the mobile device or through a standard web uh, application, uh, a portal that can be used for, for, your, uh, for your routing. Now, the problem comes when you have the user sharing with the rest of the community a number of information. At that point, the system knows your preferences, knows where you are, knows pretty much a lot of things. So uh, one of the key issues that we had to uh, tackle was the privacy and security uh, problem. Um, I'm not going into the details of this, of course, it, it's probably behind the scope of this, of this workshop, but the concerns in terms of privacy and security with LBS are enormous. And unfortunately, cur current standards are, are not just being developed for that. So the, it's, it's a problem that has to be uh, dealt with uh, at some point. Then what we have done, since we are in the GI community also, has been also to extend current standards. So what we wanted to do was to make use of uh, as many standards as possible to be able to build on top of existing infrastructure, on top of existing APIs and SDIs. So what we have done is to use, for instance, uh, standard G, uh, uh, GI services to get access to road networks, WFS and, and, and the like, but we wanted also to contribute to that. So uh, since routing is, uh, can be done through OpenLS, what we have done in, within the project was also to design an extension to OpenLS. Uh, and that's because, as I mentioned before, iTour provides this multimodal route, routing mechanism that is simply not provided by the standard OpenLS. And on top of that, we have a number of parameters that uh, regard the, the composition of the routing that OpenLS doesn't, doesn't support or didn't support in the original version. That means, for instance, what I mentioned, um, disabled friendly routing, or uh, uh, I want to have the most environmental friendly routing. These are things that are not existing in the original standard. Um, the, so, uh, as I mentioned before, the, the result, you can see already the screenshots of, of, of the system there, are a, a, a client that fits within your workflow. The idea was to make it as simple as, use, uh, as possible to use, uh, so that you could, the system could connect to your daily agenda, see that you have a number of meetings, and automatically plan and offer you to get to, do, to those meetings uh, through the public transport. Um, taking account, for instance, things like weather condition. If it's rainy, it wouldn't 
offer you to walk, for, uh, but would rather try and find a, a, a bus or, or, or another route that can help you go to the place without getting wet. So it, it's very personalized. Again, I, for time constraints, I can't get into the details of this, but uh, I'm trying to pass the message of something that is really personalized. And uh, to this, uh, for this reason, we have created also a number of let's say, user-friendly components, because, uh, again, the final user is supposed to be uh, uh, normal people without being too uh, knowledgeable about uh, uh, routing or GI, so uh, providing very high level of abstraction on top of all these software, com complex software layers. So as you can see, we have provided a number of widgets, very graphical uh, and very user-friendly uh, for, for anybody to be able to use the system. Um, one thing that we have also proposed is a dialogue based on uh, uh, natural language interaction so that you can type your queries. Bring me to square there, for instance, without the need of, of doing complex geographical queries. And again, the system would respond to you, provide the route, ask you if the route is what you want, and uh, uh, let you change uh, the route if you, if you don't like it. Um, then we have also tried to be a little bit more sexy, uh, if you like, so we made use also of uh, um, pretty now standards, if you like, um, approaches to uh, GI, but for instance, if you within the, the, the routing mechanism, and as I mentioned, the idea is that the system literally retrieves data from your agenda and starts building the routing automatically. Um, then from the GI standpoint, Everything sits on top of a number of web services that basically go into the uh, multimodal network and, and create the routing according your, on your preferences. Now, the problem is that if you have a city like, like London, getting from A to B might result in 20 different options. Uh, so what we have created was also a way to have the user select the best possible route among those 20 different options according to their own requirement. That could be cost, pollution, uh, time, all the constraints. And to do this, we have developed a number of widgets that can be used to uh, define and, and, and tune in real time your, your um, perfect or ideal uh, route. So to wrap up, um, the, the project uh, initially sounded as uh, ambitious, but uh, in fact we are uh, getting to the end of it. The project is about finishing in early next year, and um, so the system is already partially running. Um, it's an aggregator of a number of technologies. It provides a fitting on how standard uh, GI can be augmented also with the use of crowdsourcing. That's something that sooner or later we will have to face. Uh, structured geographical information is one thing, dealing with unstructured information, unfortunately, is a completely different story and requires new strategies, new ways of considering the way we deal with, with, the, with, the, with information as we, as we have it now. Um, again, through the use of iTour, we are trying to promote sustainable uh, approaches to transportation and that's within the sort of smart city mission. Uh, so we have this uh, uh, societal um, driven approach to, to improve uh, sustainability as much as we can through uh, by promoting public transportation. And, uh, uh, and again, the, the, the use of, of location-based services opens uh, the door to a wide range of, of new business, uh, of businesses. So imagine that you have localized, advertised based on your position. So th that's a, a, a whole different story that, 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 uh, that it can, I can't discuss here, but uh, during the project we are already facing a number of very interesting uh, issues about uh, the, the added value of bringing location of users within, within the game. And of course I have to acknowledge the, um, the, the European Commission for funding the project. And thanks for that.